Hello everyone! In this video, let's discuss the correlation analysis. For the learning objectives, number one, describe the nature of bivariate data. Number two, construct the scatter plot for a set of bivariate data. Number three, estimate the strength of association between two variables based on the scatter plot. Number four, calculate the person's R product moment correlation coefficient. Number five, interpret the computed R in terms of strength and direction. And lastly, apply and solve real life problems involving the correlation analysis. But first, let's define what is a univariate data. When we say a univariate data, it deals with a single variable. When we say variable, it's the attribute of interest. For example, kung ang data mo is all about uh, length, length lang. Kung height, height lang. Kung weight, weight lang. So that's a single variable independently. So mga tools na ginagamit natin to describe a single variable are the measures of central density. Ito yung mga average, yung mean, mean, and mode. And then also we use variation, standard deviation, variance, okay, and the other descriptive statistics na pwede natin magamit to describe a single variable. Next is we have the bivariate data. Bivariate data, from the word, from the prefix bi, it means two. So it involves two variables. So for us to describe the relationship of that two variable, we use the correlation analysis. Okay, relationship may indicate the following. Number one, degree of association. In degree of association, it tells us what type of relationship ang meron sa dalawang variable. Is it positively correlated ba or negatively correlated? So, tinatanong dyan, tinitingnan natin dito kung gaano correlated sa isa't isa yung dalawang variable. Okay, example, we have English and math grade of group of students. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ba nakuha ng mas mata mataas na grade sa English, pwede ka rin ba makuha ng mataas na grade sa math? Or, pag nakakuha ka ba ng mababa sa English, mababa na rin bang makuha mo sa math? Or kung mataas ka ba sa English, mababa ba ang makuha mo sa math? So, on that cases, titingnan natin kung anong type of relationship ang meron sa mga ganong cases. Next number, we have the cause and effect. Ibig sabihin, cause and effect, it answers the question, may kinalaman ba yung dalawang variable na yan sa isa't isa? Or nakaka-apekto ba yung dalawang variable sa isa't isa? Example, nutritional status of pupils and their academic performance in math. Ibig sabihin ba, yung nutrition status ng mga bata ay nakaka-apekto po ba sa performance nila in math. Okay, so on that case, hitingnan natin kung may relationship ba yon or may, may kinalaman ba, nakaka-apekto ba yung, da yung dalawang variable na yan sa isa't isa. Next is predictive ability. So in predictive ability, kaya niyang mag-predict. If the two variable has a relationship, kaya niyang mag-predict or pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, method or mga model, statistical model, para makapag-predict tayo kapag yung dalawang variable natin ay may relationship. Okay, example, we have the entrance test and grades of freshman students. So, kunwari given yung uh, entrance test and then possible na pwede tayo makapag-predict ng grade ng freshman student. Kung merong relationship yung dalawang variable, yung entrance test at yung grades of freshman student. So, pwede nating ma-predict, ma-assume or ma-estimate ang magiging grade ng isang freshman student kapag nakakuha siya ng certain score sa entrance exam. Next is reliability of test. In reliability of test, dito measure natin yung consistency. Kung gaano ka-reliable. So, mga example ng reliability of test, yung mga teacher-made test. Kung baga, in reliability of test, binigyan mo, you give same test, okay, twice or more with the same student at the same time or different time. If yung student ay nakakuha ng same score, so sabi, same score or more, or mas mataas pa, so being consistent siya, okay, and reliable. Okay, so let's have an examples of correlation in real life. Number one, the more social distancing I do, okay, the lesser, okay, the lesser the risk of acquiring COVID-19 virus. Number two, the more time you spend running on the treadmill, the more, okay, calories you will burn. Number three, taller people have larger shoe size and shorter people have smaller shoe size. Okay, number four, the longer your Okay, the longer your hair grows, the more shampoo you will need. Number five, the less time I spend marketing my business, the fewer okay, new customers I will have. And number six, the slower the internet speed I have, the more chances of disconnecting from an online class. So those are the examples of correlation in real life. Okay, so ano nga ba ang correlation analysis? Correlation analysis is a method, method or technique na ginagamit natin para malaman kung yung dalawang variable ba ay may relationship o kung yung relationship ng dalawang variable ba ay nag exist It's a method or a technique. It measures the association or the strength of the relationship between the two 
variable. So, when we say ko, it means together, and then relation means connection. So, dapat yung dalawang variable natin ay may connection sa isa isa. It is a relationship between two or more variables that are linked together. In statistics, the application of rectangular system, this is the Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane. Okay, in locating the coordinates of two variables being investigated is known as cutter diagram. Sabihin si Cartesian plane or yung rectangular system ay ginagamit natin to create a scatter plot. And the scatter plot diagram will tell us the trend line of the two variable. Okay, so si scatter diagram ay tinatawag din po siya scatter plot. Okay, so it shows how each point collected from a set of bivariate data are scattered on the Cartesian plane. So remember that x is the independent and y is the dependent variable. So si scatter plot it's a visual picture or it's a graphical representation of the relationship between two variables. Okay, let's have an example of a scatter plot diagram. Examine the example below showing the graph of atmospheric temperature per day and sales. So in this case, try natin i-graph siya from day 1 to 7, we have the data, temperature per day, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6, day 7. And per day, uh, meron tayong sales in thousands. So tignan natin through the scatter plot diagram kung ano yung magiging behavior ng ating data. Okay, so graph lang natin siya, we have 36, 123. 36, 123. 32, 112. 34, 120. And then 30, 108, 31, 111, 32, 115, and 30, 110. Okay, now as you can see on the graph, nakita natin dito na yung behavior ng data natin or yung graph natin is positively correlated. Positively correlated, meaning... As your x increasing, ito po yung x natin, as your x increasing, your y, your y is also increasing. Okay, so makita natin dito yung trend line. By the way, the trend line tells us the direction of the data. For example, yan. Okay, yan yung trend line natin. As you can see, yung mga points natin yan medyo dikit-dikit sa isa't isa. Closeness, yung closeness nila ay medyo dikit-dikit sa isa't isa. So we can say na itong graph na to, itong data na to, ay there's a very high positive correlation. Okay, based on the graph. Okay, so we have different types of linear correlation. Number one, positive linear correlation. If y increases, our x is also increases. So for the first picture, we have the positive. And then second picture, we have strong positive. Third picture, we have perfect positive. So as you can see, the difference of these three illustration on letter A, makita mo naman na yung mga data natin ay medyo hindi sila Nakascatter sila. Okay, yung closeness ng points natin, medyo, ano siya, nakascatter. Not unlike with letter B, medyo dikit-dikit, ibig sabihin, there's a strong positive correlation to that. And then for the letter C, as, as you can see, it uh, came up with a perfect line. Okay, para siyang straight line. So it is a perfect positive. Okay, next is we have the no correlation. As your x increases, there's no change in y. So there's no relationship between the two variables. Example on this illustration, makikita nyo naman yung ating mga points medyo layo-layo uh, and hindi mo makita yung trend line o yung direction ng graph o ng data mo sa mapatungo yung data mo. Not unlike dito, high letter A positive, yes, medyo layo-layo sila but still nakikita mo yung trend line or direction ng graph na ito ay uh, positively correlated. Not unlike dito, high letter G, no correlation, wala hang makikita. Kahit drawing na natin example ng line, Mara may line ka dito. Wala pang positive. So, hindi mo makita yung points na papunta nga ba talaga siyang positive. Tsaka, tingnan mo, medyo malayo yung distance nila dun sa trend line or dun sa straight line. Okay, so we cannot tell. So, kahit naman pa ganito yung line, di ba? Medyo hindi talaga. Okay, so next is letter number 2. We have negative linear correlation. Y decreases, X increases. So, example, I. So, same lang naman. We have letter D negative, strong negative, and perfect negative. So, yung closeness ng points natin kay negative, medyo layo-layo. So, siguro mga mild or moderate lang yung kanyang uh, degree of association. And then, itong si strong negative, medyo dikit-dikit. So, kaya siya tinawag na strong negative. Then, perfect negative ay, makikita nyo naman, it form a straight line. Okay? So, sa bawat type of linear correlation natin, meron tinitingnan, tinitingnan din natin dito yung strength of relationship or degree of association. Kumbaga, Looking at the graph, as you can see, we have perfect positive correlation. Itong number 1. Itong 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.5. Okay, yan po yung tinatawag natin correlation. 
Okay, coefficient. So, dyan natin malalaman o madetetermine kung ano po yung degree of relationship ng dalawang variable using our correlation coefficient. Okay, kasi bawat value ng correlation coefficient, meron po tayong verbal interpretation na uh, binibigay. Okay, for example, itong 1. As you can see, it uh, came up with a straight line, so that's perfect positive. Ganon din naman dun sa negative 1, perfect negative correlation. As you can see, yung closeness ng points nila medyo uh, naglulose na. Okay, as you can see, hanggang maging no correlation, hindi mo makita yung direction ng line. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, si trend line po, yung sinasabi natin trend line, it tells us the direction, trend line, it tells us the direction of the correlation. Katulad nito, sa perfect positive, it goes to positive, high positive, low positive. Okay? And then, sa low negative correlation, papuntang negative side, negative, negative. Okay? And then, yung closeness ng points natin will tell us the strength of relationship. Kung dito sa 1, okay, med since this is perfect positive, so may mataas ang kanyang degree of association or yung strength, high positive also, yung closeness nila ang magsasabi kung ano yung strength of relationship. It can be strong, moderate, weak, or no correlation. Okay? So for us to know what is the degree of association, meron po tayong tool na ginagamit para makumpute natin yung correlation coefficient. So gumagamit po tayo ng person product moment correlation or tinatawag natin person R. So ito ay ginagamit kapag ang data mo ay parametric. Ibig sabihin ng parametric, yung data natin dito ay mga quantity. Quanti quantitative. Okay? So, meron kasi tayong isa pang tool na ginagamit, pero pang quality naman siya, which is called as Perman Rank. Ginagamit naman natin yon sa mga non-parametric, ibig sabihin mga quality. Okay? So, this uh, this tool is first derived by the British statistician named Carl Person. So, ang formula natin, as you can see, meron tayo ditong uh, summation. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan po natin dito yung mga summations. Ito ang ibig sabihin po nito ay summation. Okay, summation or total. So, kailangan natin ng summation ng xy, ng x, y, x squared, and y squared. Then also, yung n, yung po yung tinatawag natin population size. Ibig sabihin ng population size, ilang data, number of pairs of data ang merong sa given. Okay? So, para sa may mga one-liner calculator, ang pattern po na ginagawa natin para makompute yung R, kumbaga sa numerator, put lang tayo ng parentheses here, and then dun sa dulo. So, separate the numerator and denominator para buong computation ang makuha natin. And then, of course, we put divide, and then dito, square root, and then maglalagay pa tayo ng isang parentheses here, and then parentheses din po ito. Then, so, dalawa na yung start, and then sa dulo, i-close natin siya. Kasi kapag isa lang, nare, square root lang, and then isa lang, yung ating parenthesis na nalagay, yung square root ay hanggang dito lang po siya. Ito lang yung na-square root ni Calcu. How about yung nasa dulo, di ba? So, hindi na isama. So, kailangan po natin maglagay ng dalawang parenthesis sa unahan, okay, after no square root sign. So, yung pattern sa Calcu ay ito. Okay, so ito po yung dalawang parenthesis na sinasabi ko, and then sa dulo. Okay, so yan po yung ating formula na ginagamit para makumpute natin yung value ng R. So, sa bawat computation ng R natin, meron po tayong interpretation for that. So, yung verbal interpretation is the degree of correlation can be determined by the correlation coefficient. So, for example, ang nakuha nating R, ay kunwari, ang nakuha nating R ay R is equals to positive 0 0.58. Hanapin lang natin dito sa intervals na to kung nasan po dyan yung 0 0.58 positive. So, ito ay nasa uh, here, okay, moderate correlation. So, nandito po tayo kay moderate correlation. Since this is positive, so moderately positive correlation. Okay? So, kung negative naman, kumari, R is equals to negative 0 0.99. So, napin mo lang dyan yung 0 0.99. So, ito po siya nandito. So, we have positive-negative kasi nakalagay. So, we have very high correlation. Since that's negative, very high negative correlation. Okay? So, ang R natin, nagre-range lang po siya from negative 1 to positive 1. So, kapag yung computation nyo po ay sumobra sa positive 1 at kulang sa negative 1, ibig sabihin, uh, may mali po sa pag-compute ng value ng R kasi it's, ang range lang po niya ay positive 1 to negative 1. Okay? So, ang pag nakuha mo naman ay positive 1, so that is perfectly positive. Kapag negative 1, perfectly negative. And kapag 0, ibig sabihin no correlation or uncorrelated. Okay? Okay, so let's have an example. Number 1. Okay, complete the table to find the value of R. The following data shows the scores of 5 students in math and English. Determine the degree of association. So, kapag ang tinatanong po dito ay 
degree of association, we have to look for our correlation coefficient. Since ang data naman po natin ay quantity, so we can use our person R. So, ang formula natin for R, kailangan natin ang summation ng xy, ito po yun, summation ng x, summation ng y, summation ng x squared, and summation ng y squared. Okay, for the manual computation, tingnan po natin si x squared. Punta po kayo sa column ng x natin, ito, column ng x. So, each row, you have two squared, each row. For example, three squared. Okay, so we have nine. Next is nine squared, we have 81. 10 squared, so 100. 12 squared, 144. And 7 squared, so meron ka namang 49. Okay, so after po niyan, nakuha na natin si x squared. Punta naman tayo sa column ng ating y. Okay, so pag sa y naman, y squared. So kunin din po natin yung squared. So we got 5 squared, so that is equal to 25. 8 squared, 64. 100. 81. And 64. Okay. And next po, for the xy, punta naman tayo sa column ng x at column ng y. So, all you have to do is to multiply yung column per row na nasa column ng x at column ng y. So, meaning meron kang 3 times 5. So, we have 15. 9 times 8. 72. 100. 12 times 9. 108. And 7 times 8. 56. Okay? And after po nyan, after natin makuha yung... Details natin per column, we have to get the total. So, para makuha po natin yung total, total lang natin per column. So, we have 3 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 7. So, for the, for x, summation ng x ay equal to 41. Okay, next naman is for the y. Kunin naman natin yung total ng y. 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8. So, we got 40. So, ang total natin ay 40. And for the x squared, we have 9 plus 81 plus 100 plus 49. And 44, 144. So we have 383. Okay, next is for the y squared, we have 25 plus 64 plus 100 plus 81 plus 64. So total is 334. And for the xy, we get the total 15 plus 72 plus 100 plus 108, plus 56. So, we have 351. Okay, so now that we have the summations, okay, meron na tayong summations. Ito na yung summation ng x, summation ng y, summation ng x squared, summation ng y squared, and summation ng xy. So, all we have to do is to substitute our data sa formula. And then, so sabi dito ay n. So, ang n po natin dito ay 5 students. Kasi lima lang naman yung pair of data natin. Alice, France, KCJ, and Mark. So, ang n po natin dito ay 5. So, we have 5 times the summation of xy is 351 minus summation of x, which is 41 and then times the summation of y, 40. Okay, and then over the square root. Okay, and then open parentheses, n is 5 times the summation of x squared, 383. Minus summation of x, which is 41, and then squared. Since positive naman po yung 41 natin, kahit di na natin lagyan ng parentheses. Okay, okay lang po yun. Pero kung kunwari, negative 41 po yan, lagyan po natin siya ng parentheses bago natin yung squared. Okay, so next is, dito na tayo, n ulit ay 5. And then summation ng y squared ay 334. Minus the summation of y is 40, and then squared. And then, close. Okay, so yan po yung input natin sa calculator. Okay, so para naman po sa may mga one-liner calculator, ito naman po yung pattern na susundin. Okay, so sa calc -U, open parentheses, we have 5 times 351 minus 41 times 40, close, and then divide, square root, dalawang parentheses, square root po yan, hindi yan. Ah. And then we have 5 times 383 minus 41 squared, and then close. Then open, 5 times 334 minus 40 squared close. Isa pa. Okay? Kasi ito yan, para dito yan. Okay? Para naka-square sila lahat. And then, equals. Okay? So, pakita natin sa calc ang computation ng ating R. So, gamitin muna natin yung naka-red. So, we have this. Okay? 5 times 351. Kahit hindi pa kayo gumamit ang parenthesis, you can use times na lang. Pwede po yun. Minus 41 times 40. Down. Square root. And then, Open parenthesis. 
and then 5 times 383 minus 41 squared. Close, open. Then 5 times 334 minus 40 squared. And then close po. Okay? So the correct answer for ating R is 0 0.8985. So we have 0. Point, so ang R natin ay 0 0.89. 85 47194719 Okay? So, para naman sa one-liner calculator, ganito naman po ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, pakita lang natin sa one-liner para makuha natin siya. Okay? We have open parenthesis 5 times 351 minus 41 times 40 close, divide square root. Okay? And then dalawang parenthesis. 5 times 383 Minus 41 squared, close open, 5 times 334, minus 40 squared. Dalawang close. Okay, so answer, ayan. So we have 89, So same lang naman siya. Okay. So next is, na-compute na natin yung value ng R. So round off lang po natin to ng two decimal pieces. So we have or, okay, or we have 90. So we have 0 0.90. Okay, ito na po yung value ng R natin. We have 0 0.90. Okay, after nito, tingnan natin yung 0 0.90 sa ating table. Okay, so 0 0.90. So, nandito siya kay... Ito. Okay, so meron tayong very high correlation. So, since that's positive, very high positive correlation. Okay, so therefore, okay, meron kang very high positive correlation. Okay, let's have another example. The age and blood glucose level of 7 patients in a hospital ward are recorded below. So, meron tayo dito H and BGL. So, inipanda niya lagi ang X po natin, yung independent variable. And then, yung Y natin is dependent. Diba? Yung BGL natin ay nakadependent naman po yan sa age. So, yung age is independent. So, sabi dito number 1, construct a scatter plot. Describe the correlation between the patient's age and their blood glucose level, if any. Number 2, calculate the correlation coefficient. Ito po yung R. And then, interpret the result. Okay? So, answer muna natin si number 1. So, construct a scatter plot diagram. So, kapag nag-plot po kayo, always remember, since ito naman ay konti lang, so, kung tingnan nyo lang po yung lowest and highest para alam nyo kung ano yung mga uh, interval or number na ilalagay nyo sa graph. And then, dito sa BGL, ang highest ay 120, ang lowest ay 180. So, pwede na po tayong gumamit dito sa x ng fig. Uh, may pagitan na fig pa 5 or pwede tayo mag-start ng 15, di ba? So, start tayo ng 15 dito. Ayan, fig pa 5 yung pagitan. Then, for the y, pwede tayo mag-start ng 80 up to 120. So, ang pagitan natin dito ay fig 10. So, tingnan natin ang magiging behavior ng graph dito sa problem na to. So, start tayo with 80, 98. So, yung 18. So, tansyay na lang natin. 98. So, nandito po yung somewhere here. And 23, so 23, 84, so 85, 84, let's say here. And 45, ito yung 45, 110, so let's say here. 30, 80, ito yun. 32, and 100, 29, 90, and 51, 120. Okay, so tingnan natin kung ano ang ating behavior or Ano ang pwede nating masabi dito sa graph? Now, as you can see, yung graph natin ay makita natin yung trend line kasi kung makita nyo, para siyang, okay, it's a positively correlated. Okay? Positively correlated. Okay? Or positively correlated. Okay? Kasi makita nyo po yung mga points, medyo dikit, um, dikit, dikit naman. Pero tingnan natin ito kasi meron tayong dalawang Medyo malayo dun sa trend line. But nakita naman natin yung trend line, yung direction. But tingnan natin kung ano talaga ang degree of relationship nito using our R. So, compute muna natin yung value ng R. Okay, so in this case, gamit tayo ng calculator yung how to compute the correlation coefficient using the calculator. Okay, so kukunin natin dito yung mga summations. Okay, so using the calculator, let's compute the summations. So, eto. Sa ganitong calculator na nasa screen, we have to press the mode and then punta tayo kay stat, which is 3. 
And then hanapin niya lang po yung a plus bx which is 2. Okay, and then dapat po ang lalabas ay people. So, para mag-input ng data, press lang po natin yung mga data natin. So, we have 18. Okay, equals, 23 equals, 45 equals, 30, 32, 29, okay, 51. Okay, and para naman sa y, we have 98, 84, 110, 80, 190, and 120. Okay, so check natin, double check our data. 1898, 2384. Okay, so tama naman lahat. So after po nito ay mag-press tayo ng AC, si AC, itong AC na to. Kasi kung hindi po ka mag-press ng AC, ganito ang mangyayari. Shift 1, so tatlong option lang ang mahita mo. So kung gusto mo bu bumalik dun sa data, press 2, or bumalik ka sa data. Okay, so para mahanap naman natin ang summation, press natin si AC, and then Shift 1. So, makita nyo dito na dagdagan yung ating option. Meron ka ng sum, variance, regression, min, max. So, ang gagamitin po natin dito is yung summation which is 3. So, press lang natin yung number 3 para makompute natin yung summations. Okay, so ito po yung summation of x which is 2. Press lang natin yung 2. So, that's equals. Okay, so we have 228. So, para makuha natin si summation ng x, meron daw tayong 228. Then, for the summation ng y, ganun ulit, shift 1 lang po. And then, punta ka ulit sa 3. And then, hanapin mo naman yung y, which is number 4. Equals. Okay, so we have 682. Okay, next naman natin is for the xy. Shift 1 ka ulit. Punta ka lang ulit kay 3. Hanapin mo yung xy. Ito siya, number 5. So, press 5. Equals. So, meron kang 22,976. Okay, 22,976. And for the xy, puntahan naman ulit shift 1. Shift 1 lang po ulit. We have 3. And then, hanapin natin si x squared. Ito siya, pang number 1. So, press 1 equals. So, meron tayong 8,244. Okay, next is para makuha naman natin si y squared. Ganun ulit, shift 1. So, sa tandaan nyo, kaya ka nagsya shift 1 kasi yung po kailangan mo yung stat at distribution. Okay, and then number 3. And then, we have the y squared which is 3 equals. So, meron tayong 67,666. Sorry, 67,660. So, nakuha na natin yung summations. Compute naman natin yung value ng R manually. So, compute natin si R man. So, sub substitute lang po natin yung mga data. So, again, ang N po natin ay 7. It's because 7 patient po ito. Okay, 7 data. So, we have 7 times summation ng XY ay 22,976. Minus summation ng X ay 228 times the summation ng y ay 682. And then, square root, n natin ay 7, times the summation ng x squared ay 8244, minus summation ng x ay 228 squared. Since positive naman, wag na natin lagyan ng parentheses. And then, 7 ulit. Summation ng y squared ay 67660, minus summation ng y ay 682 squared, and then close. Okay? And then, para sa may mga one-liner calculator, ito naman po yung pattern. So, first, we have 7, open parenthesis, 7 times 22,976 minus 228 times 682, close, and then, divide. Square root, dalawang parenthesis. Okay? And then, we have 7 times 8,244 minus 228 squared, close, open. And then 7 times 67, 660 minus 682 squared, close, close, equals. Okay, so input naman natin yan sa calculator. Okay, so gamitin ko naman yung, ano, yung one-liner calculator. Okay, kung narin, eto na, napindot nyo na po yung summations. Pwede po kayong mag-compute dyan. Press nyo lang yung AC. Pag kayong mag-alala, yung data po nyan ay nandyan pa rin. So gamitin lang natin itong so may one-liner calculator. So we have open parenthesis 7 times. 22,976 minus 228 times 682. Okay, close, divide, then square root. Dalawang parenthesis. 7 times 8,244 minus 228 squared. Close, open. 7 times 67,660 minus 682 squared. Dalawang parenthesis. Okay, and then press equals. So, ang value ng R natin ay... 0 point, so ang R natin dito ay, R is 0 
0.7186. Okay, or round off natin ng 2 decimal pieces sa so magiging 0 0.77. Okay? So, tingnan naman natin sa calculator kung ano ang value ng R. So, para makompute po natin yung R, shortcut. So, press nyo lang yung, kahit hindi na, pero press natin yung AC. So, shift 1. Ayan. So, kung gusto nyo bumalik sa data, you press 2. Ayan, babalik po yung data. Okay, press AC ulit. Shift 1. Para makuha mo naman yung value ng R, punta ka naman dito kay regression number 5. Okay, and then hanapin mo lang dyan yung R. So, ito ay number 3. Okay, so equals. So, ang sagot natin, tingnan natin kung match. So, we have 0 0.76 So, okay naman. Match naman yung ating answer sa manual computation. Okay, so therefore, ang ating findings, a correlation coefficient of, ilalagay mo po dito, yung value ng R mo, which is the 0 0.77, means that there is, tingnan natin kung ano yung verbal interpretation ng 0 0.77. Okay, so meron naman tayo dito. Ito, nandito ulit tayo kay strong positive okay, correlation. Okay, means that there is okay, there is a strong positive correlation between lalagay mo dyan yung age, kasi yan po yung X natin, and then yung BGL, yung Y natin, and blood glucose level of the seven patients in a hospital ward. Okay, so yan po yung ating findings. Okay, let's have another example. The teacher wants to determine if there is any substantial relationship concerning the result in mathematics score and in the science score of her students. So, ito po yung data natin, yung mathematics in X, yung science is Y. Okay, so let's use the calculator natin para makompute natin yung value ng R, yung ating correlation coefficient. So, since ang ating calculator ay naka-stat pa naman po, punta ka lang kay shift 1 and then data number 2. Okay, so dilit-dilit nyo lang kung sa haling may data pong nakalagay. And then, pwede ka na tayong mag-input ng another given data. So, input lang natin, 56 equals 46, 44, 43, 48, 45, 49, 46, 52, 48, 55, 43, 42, 44, and 48. And para naman sa Y, down, right, para makapunta ka dun sa taas. 99, 97, 89, 95, 96. 92, 93, 94, 98, 99, 94, 93, 95, 98, and 99. Okay? So, dapat po yan ay 15. So, check lang natin. Dapat check kung tama yung na-input na data. Okay, so, tama naman. After nito, ay magpe-press po tayo ng AC. And then, punta tayo kay Shift 1. Okay, para mahanap naman natin yung mga summations. So, punta lang po tayo kay number 3. And then, summation ng 2. Ah, uh, summation ng 2. Summation ng X natin ay nasa number 2. So, press 2 and then equals. So, let's see kung ito ay tama. So, ang ating summation for the X. Yes, we have 709. So, next naman ay summation ni Y. Punta lang tayo kay Shift 1 ulit, number 3. And then we have y, which is number 4, equals. So, meron tayong 1,431. So, tingnan na. Okay? And then for the summation ng xy, shift 1 ulit, we have sum. xy is number 5. So, meron ka namang 67,707. Okay? And for the x squared, shift 1 ulit, sum, 3. And then x squared, 1, equals. So, meron tayong 33,769. Okay? And for the y squared, shift 1. Sum, 3, equals. So, meron tayong 136,641. Okay? So, next natin is to look for the value of R. So, kapag R naman po ang hinahanap, punta lang tayo kay shift 1 ulit. Kay REG naman. Kay regression. So, number 5. Napin mo lang yung R, which is number 3. And then, equals. Okay? So, meron na tayong 0 0.38 Ibig sabihin, round off lang po natin yan ng 2 decimal places. So, meron kang... 0.38. Okay? So, para naman sa findings and interpretation, so, a correlation coefficient of, lalagay mo lang po yung value ng R, 0.38, and hanapin natin kung ano po ba yung uh, verbal interpretation ng 0.38 sa table. So, 0.38. So, meron tayong, eto, positive naman siya, pero yan ay weak positive correlation. Okay? Nandito po yung ating interpretation. Okay, so, 
correlation coefficient of 0.38 means that there is a weak positive correlation between mathematics score and science score. Of ilan po yan? Uh, per student, so specifically this is 15 students. Okay? So yan po yung ating findings for example number 3. Okay, let's have another example. Example number 4. The table indicates the total number of enrollees of XYZ school and the corresponding profit from 2011 to 2019. So, meron tayong year 2011 to 2019 and uh, on respective year, meron tayong total enrollment per year and total profit per year. Okay, yung total enrollment natin is in thousand and yung profit natin is in million. So, the school admins want to determine the degree of relationship. So, kapag ang hinahanap ay degree of relationship, you have to look for the correlation coefficient. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Using the calculator, let's compute our summations. Okay, so here's the data. Gamit ulit tayo ng calculator para ma-compute natin yung ating summations. Okay, so again, punta lang po kayo sa shift 1 and then data number 2 and then delete lang po natin yan para makapag-input tayo ng panibagong data. So, we have 16 equals 15, 10, 11, 11.8, 13.4, 13.9, 14, 13.2. And then, for the Y, 25, 20, 15, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, and 18. Okay, so now that we have uh, insert or input our data, press natin si AC. Okay, para makuha natin si summations. So, shift 1, para sa summations, we have 3. Okay, summation ng X natin, number 2 equals. So, meron tayong 118.3 for the summation of x. And then, for the summation of y, shift 1 ulit, and then 3, and then 4 equals. So, meron kang 181. Okay, next naman, summation ng xy, shift 1, 3, summation, xy is 5, equals. Okay, so meron tayong 2,419.6. And then, for the x squared, shift 1 ulit. x squared, we have 3 equals. Okay, and then x squared, number 1 equals. So, 1584.25. And then for the summation ng y squared, shift 1 po ulit. We have summation 3. And then y squared is on number 3, press 3 equals. So, meron kang 3719 for the summation ng y squared. Okay, and para malaman natin yung relationship ng dalawang variable, ang hanapin natin yung value ng r. So, yung r po natin dito, makikita kay regression. So, we have 5, and then itong number 3. Press 3 equals. So, ating r ay 0 0.84, Okay, and round off lang po natin to ng 2 decimal pieces. So, we have 0 0.84. And for the interpretation, hanapin naman natin yan sa table, 0 0.84. So, meron po tayo dito. So, strong positive correlation. Okay, so a correlation coefficient of 0 0.84 means that there is a strong positive correlation between total enrollment and profit in million. So, ito po kasi yung x natin and then pay one. Okay, for the ilang years po ba yan? So, that's 9 years. So, for the 9 years or for the past 9 years, 2011 to 2019. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. Example number 5. So, calculate the correlation coefficient if n is equals to 7, given the summations. So, kapag given po yung summations at pinapahanap sa atin yung correlation coefficient, which is r, okay, manually po natin siyang i-compute. So, ito po yung formula natin for the r. Okay. And then, substitute lang po natin yung given. So, we have 7, yan po yung n natin. So, 7 times summation ng xy natin ay 113.65. Minus summation ng x is 17.5. Summation ng y ay 42.10. And then all over the square root. Okay, we have n is, n po natin ay 7 times the summation ng x squared, 50.75. And then minus summation ng x ay 17.5. So hindi naman siya naka-negative, kaya pwede nang walang square root. Then close, open. 7 times the summation ng y squared is 589.82. Minus summation ng y ay 42.10 squared plus. Okay, and then para po sa may mga one-liner calculator, ito na po yung pattern na susundin. Open parenthesis, we have 7 times 113.65 
times sorry minus minus okay minus 17.5 times 42.10 close divide square root dalawang parentheses 7 times 50.75 minus 17.5 squared close and then open 7 times 589.83 times 42.10 squared dalawang close okay so tingnan natin yan sa calculator Okay, so kapag mag-compute naman tayo, okay, pwede po tayong bumalik dun sa normal calculation. So, mode 1 lang. Okay, sa normal computation. Para pag pinindot mo ito, lalabas na yung fraction. So, we have 7 and then times 113.65 minus 17.5 times 42.10 over square root, open parentheses, 5, 7 times 50.75 minus 17.5. Squared, close open, 7 times, 589.83, minus 42.10 squared, and then close. So, let's see what's the correct answer. We got 0 0.17, 304, Okay? So, check naman natin sa calculator na to, yung one-liner calculator. So, para maging one-liner to, punta lang ako kay mode, and then 3 equals ko lang. AC. So, magiging stop na siya. So, para makita nyo yung sa may one-liner calculator. So, we have 7. So, one-liner calculator kasi kapag pumindot ka ng fraction, ganito po yung lumalabas. Okay. So, open parenthesis 7 times 113.65. Okay. Minus 17.5 times 42.10. Close. And then, square root. Sorry, divide pala. And then, square root. Dalawang parenthesis sa unahan. 7 times 50.75 minus 17.5 squared, close, open, 7 times 589.83 minus 42.10 squared, close, dalawa. Okay, yung press equals. So, ang answer natin ay, yan. So, same lang to kanina, 17.304.32962. Okay? So, yan po ang ating manual computation, how to do the manual computation ng ating R. Kapag given po yung mga summations and yung value ng N. Okay, so kung titignan naman po natin si 0.17 sa ating, okay, meron naman tayong 0.17. So, ito ay, okay, here. Okay, so meron kang negligible positive correlation. Okay. Okay, next example natin ay this one. So, kindly try this problem. Let us see kung tama yung magiging computation nyo ng ating R. Okay. Use the manual computation for you to get the value of R. So, I'll be giving you the correct answer here para malaman nyo po or matest nyo sa sarili nyo kung marunong po kayong mag-compute ng R. So, here's the answer. We have 0 0.9118781383831 or 0 0.91. Okay?